Today's the day that we've been waiting for. Okay, so I'm freaking out a little bit. The main point of this whole video was the closet. So I just have to like power through and make sure that it's as great as it's gonna be. And I'm excited to get my life in order. Yeah. Because it feels Good. like it's in shambles. Yeah. I want it to be done. So we decluttered, we packed up my old apartment, we also painted the new apartment, unpacked into the new apartment, organized the new apartment. Now is the fun part. We're gonna do the design portion of my apartment makeover series. Oh my gosh, I love interior design, but as I mentioned in the video where I did the bedroom makeover, it still stresses me out to like design my own thing. So I always just feel like I need a little bit of, I don't know, help. <laughs> Mel Kirk is gonna be helping me with the interior design and she's providing these services at a discounted rate. Mel, come on in. Hey girl, hey. Hi, Freddie. So good to see you again. Good to see you. She actually also painted and did the handiwork with her husband, Brandon. It's really nice to just like kind of keep the same energy throughout. And also, they were just a pleasure to work with. One of my favorite things you did was mounting the TV into that awesome frame that you all made. I love the TV. Oh my gosh. The whole thing has been really fun, but this part is like the fun part where we're about to design the apartment. Yeah, I feel like we're finally bringing everything together, especially because yeah. you had a pretty clear-cut vision to begin with in terms of like color scheme. It's made it really fun to kind of roll out from there. Yay! In general, I feel like it's sort of like an open blank canvas. I will say that I did order a pink couch custom from Total Design Furniture. That pink couch is such an awesome focal point. I don't really want to take away from it. I just want to enhance it mm -hmm. and throw in some patterns. And we have that awesome teal chair as well. Yes. That's also a solid. So I'm thinking a really fun print rug. Ooh. I also think that we should get some gold accents. That's gonna bring everything in the apartment together. Oh my gosh, well I love gold. In my head, I like had this dream of having like a gallery wall of some sort. Is that gonna be too much? No. Oh. Too much is not enough. Okay. <laughs> and what color frames were you thinking? I think we go pink. I love that, oh my gosh. Also, I have a little bonus room off of the living room. Yes. I would love to figure out a way to make it a guest room, but it is tiny. It is, but I like immediately got so excited. I think we do like a little guest suite. Oh. Yes. Sweet. For your dining room, I can have way too many gatherings going <laughs> that I think your space needs to be totally usable. I'm thinking that we do a dining table with a couch. I'm seeing that a lot of these tables on the other side of them are just like benches. Now, I'ma be frank. Ones that don't have back support really upset my body. We can totally redirect to some dining chairs. Okay. Kirk Renovations cares. I think we can support your friends. Yeah. I think we can support you. You know, I think that's what this whole thing is about. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think we do like an extra little talking corner and I'm thinking two armchairs and an end table. Yes, I love that. And I think we need to bring in more animal print. Oh, but in a different way. Okay. The kitchen is already a minty blue color. I really liked that. And also there's a really cute smeg fridge that matches that color. So it's like a whole vibe in the kitchen. So I want to really just play up the kitschiness of the kitchen. <laughs> I think we add a little bit of wallpaper. Ooh. My bathroom, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just sticking with the black and white theme. I think we just do a really simple white shower curtain. I picked one out that has these really sweet ruffles on it. Cute. And then my bedroom, I'm keeping everything generally the same from my bedroom makeover last year that Kane did, except I'm gonna get new wallpaper because I can't reuse the wallpaper that I had in my old apartment. Don't worry, Kane, same vibe. I'm not getting rid of your touches. He knocked it out of the park last year. I only need a few things and it'll just add to it already. Mm -hmm. We're doing a white bedding in there. Yeah. And you have an awesome white vanity mm -hmm. and some cream colors going on. And I think- Gold. Exactly. I think we do a statement. It's basically like the only room in the house that can really withstand it. Yeah. And so I think we go for it. Let's do it. Well, we have a lot of work to do, but I'm so excited for everything to actually come in and us to start putting things together. I can't wait. Like I I want to redo all of my places. <laughs> we picked out some cute furniture, some lovely curtains, cute little drapes. And I was like, ooh, shopping time, so fun. What I forgot was that there is another stressful component to designing, and that is receiving furniture in the mail and having to assemble it. 
I'm waiting on Mel and Brandon. They're gonna come and the first order of business is applying all of the wallpaper. And hopefully if we have some time left, we can start putting together some of this furniture. Look at all these boxes. Mel and Brandon were such troopers and put together pretty much all of my furniture before we actually got to design day because there was no way we were gonna fit styling the apartment and assembling all the furniture together in one day. It's design day. <laughs> Ew. Everything's pretty much already put together. You assembled furniture, you put up wallpaper. So what are we doing today? I think the hard parts are done. It's just gonna be arranging, putting things where it needs to be, and then adjusting from there. Hanging like the drapes, things like that will take a little bit of extra time, but I think we pretty much know where we want everything, so. Yay! Okay, let's get started. First, we tackled the curtains in the dining room. It added so much personality to the dining room even before we got everything else set up, so that was really exciting to start with. What am I doing, Mel? I would squish them so that the panel itself isn't as wide. Got it. So we can let in some more light. What Mel decided to do was to have a dining table couch and then chairs on the other side. The table, the dining room couch, and the dining room chairs came from All Modern. So then we styled that area with cute little throw pillows. I think with the seating being a mixture of chairs and a couch, in addition to throw pillows, it makes it really comfy and actually makes me want to sit there. This is where you'll be the whole night. Buckle up, tray tables down. <laughs> Can't forget to talk about the back support at the dining room table. I am a stickler for back support. I don't have it at the moment and I'm getting cranky, but Mel held it down. Ones that don't have back support really upset my body. Body. And then we put the place settings on the table, gifted to us by the lovely Arctic chair. Mel obviously picked them out, <laughs> because like I keep saying, I just know nothing about dining rooms. The plates are like a beautiful marble, and the chargers are like this beautiful translucent kind of color with gold accents, and then I have gold flatware. Y'all know I love gold, so the gold flatware just... <laughs> Then we move over to the other side of the dining room. Mel had this awesome idea to make that sort of like a little mini sitting area. And so that's where the two camel chairs come in. Oh, look how nice it looks. Man, those chairs look fancy. They really do. Those are dope. They're also faux leather. And then to put icing on the cake, we roll out a beautiful faux cowhide rug. I don't know if it's cowhide, it's some kind of hide, but it looks like it belongs in a toasty cabin up in the mountains. Oh, I just need a nice uh, martini. I know. There's also this really cute shelving right above the sitting area in the dining room that my friend who lived in the apartment before me let me keep. And on those shelves, TJ Maxx provided a bunch of cute little knickknacks, make the shelves look really lovely decorated. Also to top it off, we have a couple of lamps in the dining room provided by Bright Tech. Gold, of course, y'all know me. They definitely add that dining room level aspect to it. It kind of like heightens the experience. Give her a lamp, give her gold, she's good to go. <laughs> you know me. We've moved on into the bedroom and we are going to replace her duvet cover with an all white one. Just add to the clean, fresh look in here. We applied the beautiful wallpaper provided by Walls Need Love. Obsessed, very cool vintage vibes happening. We are going to replace her duvet cover with an all white one. And then we're gonna add white drapes to, again, just keep everything really clean and soft and comfortable. I had just been ducking and getting dressed in my room to not be seen by my neighbors for like a couple weeks. So I was so happy to finally get my curtains in place. Okay, so dining room's done, bedroom is done. We're moving into the living room now. I knew I wanted a gallery wall. That was something that had been sort of a want of mine for a while. We ended up picking out some really awesome prints from Society6. Thank you for gifting them to us. In addition to the gallery wall and just the prints, Mel and Brandon got frames for me and spray painted them the same color pink as my couch. And it really tied together everything and just added more pink. And the more pink, the better. I just loved it. We're gonna move the couch over against the wall so Freddie has some more space to work with. We're gonna hang a sheer panel over this and the top is just all knotted, so I want Freddie to have as much room as possible. Finally, to tie everything together, we have this beautiful beige and black rug from All Modern. It's such a cool, just like pop of pattern for the living room that I'm super excited about. Mel and Brandon also did a little wallpaper accent in the kitchen right above the stove and oven, and we chose bananas. Another little accent that we added was just cute little valance curtains above the windows in the kitchen, like, oh, granny made an apple pie type curtains. Also, there are just so many different terms for window coverings, curtains, drapes, 
Mel obviously knows all the terminology and she called them balances and I was like, I, I don't know what. Sure. The guest room was the biggest challenge because it's such a small, oddly shaped space that I really wanted to make as functional as possible. We got a loft bed because Mel really wanted to maximize space. And then underneath, she made this really cute vanity. So this way, my guests will have a bed to sleep in, their own vanity to get ready. One of the coolest parts about the vanity, aside from the mirror, is a super cute furry chair that's white and adds a little bit of glam. Brandon sat in the chair to like test it out and he looks so cute just sitting in a little vanity spot. There you go. Hey Brandon. <laughs> we didn't have much to really tackle in the bathroom. Elsa did her thing with all the organization. And all we needed was a really cute shower curtain. Mel picked out a super cute white shower curtain with some ruffles on it. Also I have two really awesome chairs provided by Article. It's going on my front porch and if I just want to sit and gaze out at the sunshine. You know I definitely feel like one of those women in the Folgers commercials who just like has their coffee and they just like stand on their front porch and they're just like in their robe. That's gonna be me. We made it. Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. A really long day, but I'm so excited to see everything where it belongs. I'm very excited to be closing this chapter of moving that has felt like six months of moving. <laughs> We've been with you for a while. I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you so much. You too, thank you. We are here with Freddie at the big reveal of her apartment, and we have our two fronds outside. Let's let him in. Hi, lady. Hi, friend. Oh. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh my god, look at this couch. We talked about this couch color for literally minutes and minutes. <laughs> I'm glad that we're a part of this part of the moving process. <laughs> when I saw who was going to be involved, we both were like, mm, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how convenient you didn't invite us to organize. <laughs> <laughs> you are a part of the moving process by being here today and sipping mimosas. Oh Shall we? Okay. So my big move, with the intention of it being as stress-free as possible, has now come to an end. Congrats, Congrats Freddie! City. Do you want to show Jen and Kristen the rest of your apartment? This is my kitchen. Oh my god, look, look at your fridge. fridge. This is Shmeg. my fridge. Wow, is that? Schmeg. They knew your nickname. <laughs> The coolest thing about this is that, yes, it looked really cool, and yes, this was for a video, but I'm actually gonna be living here now. Like, I just feel so grateful, and I'm happy that I'm gonna be able to just, like, live in this space. Like, I might not leave my house. <gasps> wow! Shut up! No way. Wow. Thank you to Kirk Renovations. Mel and Brandon, y'all have been my saviors. Thank you so much. Thank you to Elsa. Elsa, you changed the game, baby girl. Thank you to Christina for blessing the apartment and ridding it of all the demons. Thank you to Chantel. We sisters now. You gotta have a sleepover. Thank you to Devin. You were amazing. Thank you to our production coordinator, Erica. You killed it. Thank you to Brittany and Adriana. They helped me throughout this entire process. It just helped me to stay positive and remember remember the grand scope of things, which was that I'm moving into a new apartment and I have a bunch of help. Berta is loving it. She has so many windows to look out of. She's having so much fun. That makes me happy. If my daughter's happy, then mom is happy. Honestly, I couldn't have done it without the emotional support. Yeah, we gave a lot of that. And We're also, <laughs> physical and emotional support. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, point it out. <laughs> Aw, Freddie, you have such a nice apartment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah so it's really, lovely. it turned out really well. Group hug! Yay! Yay. Don't hate each other's glasses. <laughs> Too late. And yeah. So Freddie's big move, stress-free. Freddie tested. Freddie, Ooh, this was fun, but I'm never moving again. Never. You're not allowed to. Nope. You will stay. <laughs>